her. And then later when the interview came out, boom, it was dubbed. I don't know that that whole situation is wild to me. I mean, they didn't even give them what a year, a year and a half. I'm not saying they did like, I just, it's interesting to me, Megan and Harry seem to be crumbling. Like at first everybody defended them and it was like, people are coming for them. And now you even have people like Bill Simmons basically turning on them. I don't know. I guess it's interesting to me, like what's really going on in that Harry world. Cause people Christ seem God. now like, yeah, people, people are calling them grifters. I mean, I don't know. People have really turned on them real quick. So anyhow, all right. Where you else? Know, what else? What, what I was going to say, you know what? Um, well, Vanderpump rules is filming. And I mean, it looks like a couple of things. It looks like Jax is really, I mean, going to be in the mix. It makes sense. Like, I don't think it's confirmed. Like, I don't think Jax has actually said this. I know there's rumors of the spinoff. By the way, that's also not confirmed either. The fact that that Jax and Brittany and Kristen are getting a spinoff, that is not confirmed. I don't see that. This I is, don't see I it. Do not I don't see, see this guys. happening. I don't. I just, I these people are not strong enough. I, I'm sorry, even, I might be eating my words, but Luann and Sonia and Crappy Lake, I don't know that it's going to go anywhere. I don't know that these girls trips are mm. even that highly rated. I do not believe Jax and any of them are getting a spinoff. Do I believe Jax is coming back in some capacity? A hundred percent because they want a villain. They, you know, Tom is obviously the villain. Sandoval is, but they want somebody to confront the villain. And aside from the women who obviously come after him all the time. And James Kennedy's just like jumped the shark with his ridiculousness. So Jax is going to like hold him accountable. Old friend. I also just read too, that they're, they are casting. They are currently looking for, new members like they're asking lala they're asking ariana they're asking um katie you know who's who are your friends that we can bring on and bring in new blood they have yeah i mean look i am for that ish i mean that's what housewives does but we tried that with brett we tried that with max i mean we've tried that with charlie i mean charlie's kind of in the mix again but I don't know. Like we, you got to do that to keep it interesting. But at the same time, you know, they say the whole reason this show has worked forever is it's real friends. And it was headed towards cancellation when you started bringing all these people. And now the scandal has brought new life into it. Although, I mean, I don't know how long that's, we can still be talking about this shit. I don't know. I don't know who is that going to work. I just don't know. I just don't know. About I think this people. show has three more seasons in it. That's not so bad, Sarah. I know, I but I really do. I think next season's going to be great. Everyone wants to see how it unfolds. You know, there are stories being leaked that Raquel is in negotiations. I think everyone's coming back. I don't think Ariana's team listened to our podcast and took your advice, which was to exit, because I don't think, you know, the state of television right now is very strange. The writer strike, we've got now a TV strike that's going to happen with sag for TV actors. I don't think there's an opportunity for Ariana. You know, I think if the talk had an opening, I think if the view had an opening, you know, I think she could, she could be a big contender today show had an opening, but they've all been staffed. You know what I mean? There's, I, I don't think they're going to rock the boat. So it's like, is she going to get her own talk show? No. You know, um, is she going to host a game show? I don't know that she's got those chops. So I think she's back because I don't think there's another opportunity to exit really. I and the money's going to be point. so good. I think that's a good point. Look, I mean, look, let's not forget Elizabeth Hasselback was on the fucking second season of Survivor in the Outback in Australia. And by the grace of luck and, you know, whatever, then went on to The View. I mean, yeah, like if Ariana got the talk or The View or something, girlfriend, put on your track shoes, shit on Vanderpump and run for the hills. And that's a real fucking job where you go to a studio every day and you have wardrobe and you have a big paycheck. That's the job you take. I, 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 I agree. I mean, no, no, she cannot. She does not have the chops to have her own talk show. I think she would be great in a panel like that too. She did. I'm telling you, I was so impressed with her interviews when she did the circuit, but yeah, that those jobs are taken to your point. I mean, you'd have to, I mean, she'd have to contend with Rinna. I think Rinna on the talk would be great. You know, but like, yeah, you know, you're right. There's not, I mean, she, she's back. She's filming, you know, everyone's like, when is something about her opening? Guys, something about her is not opening until the cameras are rolling, which they are now. This is all going to be on air. Don't totally. be in the background. I mean, I doubt Stassi will be on air, but like, 
Yeah, I mean, it's back in, in, in Jax, I think, in some capacity. Look, we all want to see Jax confront Tom Sandoval on camera. People want that. A hundred percent. They're waiting for it. Yes. And it's 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 natural. This isn't a, a round. This isn't a square peg in a round hole. Like, Jax is in the group, the podcast. He's talking about it now. <laughs> Excuse me. It makes sense. It just makes sense. Oh my Bless God. You. I'm so Bless sorry, you. everybody. It just yeah. makes sense that, but I mean, Raquel, I mean, she is the linchpin. Like we all are now like, and Lisa Vanderpump, I don't know if you saw, was just stopped by like TMZ like a week ago. And they were like, yeah. you know, is Raquel coming back? And she's like, you know, I can't say that. And you listen, I mean, I think it's like nobody at Bravo wants the like, yeah, it it, it ends it, it goes into dirty lawsuit type territory with like this person's in a mental facility and is now we were forcing them back on air. But if she's really gonna leave on her own, which guess what? Surprise, surprise, she's gonna leave on her own, guys. Nobody's not coming back to fucking TV. Period. The end. So all of a sudden, I mean, are her issues cleared up now? I don't really know. I'm not in her head, but they will be. They will be if that's what it requires. And Bravo's like, we need two weeks out of the facility to really, well, then guess what? The, the time has probably started before you're even listening to this. And, and that clock is running. And all of a sudden, these issues are going to be worked out at the moment. She's coming back. I don't know what type of money that's looking for. But let's just face it. She probably was the lowest paid person last season on the whole cast. Ariana probably wasn't on the top of the list. I know for a fact Sheena wasn't. You know, like probably Sandoval got a bunch and Lala. But I mean, Raquel is coming back for some money, girl. And here's the thing. To me, if I'm producing the show and there is a worry about her mental health, she doesn't, you know, she doesn't have to be. I, I say you film her for the last three episodes. Sorry, the last three episodes of the season. Like we want to just see an update. Maybe they go to the mental health facility. They check in with her. She's like, you know, with her family or something. Maybe we have a scene with Tom the next time. And then maybe, you know, the finale she's she's seeing, I don't know, um, you know, Sheena, right? And, and uh, you know, they're crying. And is there any chance of reconciliation? I just think, I think she comes back in a capacity that is good for her mental health. She doesn't have to film every single episode to be super impactful and probably get a paycheck even of 200 grand if she does three episodes, four episodes. Hello, I think she's going to take that money. Um and start to, I mean, you know, this this is so good because it can go either way, right? She could double down on being a villain or she could be reformed and come back. And and the whole world would believe her if she's like, I was manipulated by Tom. I was at a low place. I was, you know, all these issues with my family and attachment were coming back up. 